I'm the Massachusetts River Steward for the Connecticut River Watershed Council. Um, I'm very happy to be here today representing parts of the um, Connecticut River Watershed and Long Island Sound Watershed that lie outside of the state of Connecticut. Um, the river does connect us and everything that we do upstream affects what's going by right here um, at this point. Um, a lot of, as uh, Jacqueline mentioned, a lot of the work that we do at the Watershed Council um, very much um, is in tandem with a number of the initiatives in the um, Sound Vision Action Plan. One of the things that we have been working on for many years is um, combined sewer overflows um, throughout the watershed. In Massachusetts, the cities of Chicopee, Holyoke, and Springfield still have significant um, inputs of untreated sewage. Um, in the last 10 years, a billion gallons a year has been eliminated from um, the river about 740 million gallons per year still is discharged um, untreated into the Connecticut River. Um, it will be expensive and really hard to pay for, but we'll be pushing these communities to continue on. Um, also, we've noticed that some of the, the fixes for CSOs have involved um, building satellite treatment plants, which eliminates the bacteria, but not necessarily the nutrients in that discharge. So. We will really be pushing the communities to look at this, these issues holistically. Um, don't just fix the CSOs and then do the nutrients 50 years later. Um, think of it all at the same time. Uh, with regard to nutrients, um, the, the Watershed Council supports creating, implementing, and enforcing limits on the discharge of nutrients to the Connecticut River in order to improve both the rivers and the sounds water quality. The Watershed Council recognizes the cost of nutrient control on upstream communities, but also recognizes that, that it's time for Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire to enact scientifically defensible nutrient limits and begin work on their contributions to the Sound's problems. Um, this past winter, our river steward in Vermont um, was up in White River Junction. The, the community's wastewater treatment plant um, discharge permit had been um, finalized by the state of Vermont, but EPA uh, rejected it, and David was up there at the public hearing as the only person supporting that, those, uh, those uh, nutrient limits. So sometimes we're one of the only voices pushing for these um, fixes, but we are there out on the front lines doing this work. Um, Another thing that um, we've been working on is we built a small water quality lab in our headquarters office in Greenfield, Massachusetts. And right now we're doing bacteria testing, but we do hope to expand our services and do some long-term um, climate change monitoring. Uh, some of the bacteria work that we're doing involves um, hunting for uh, incorrect uh, sewage discharges and other bacteria sources, so hopefully we'll be eliminating those and it'll be cleaner water coming down to you. Um, we also have been working on uh, several river restoration projects over the years, removing dams, um, putting in fish ladders. So whether it's our advocacy work, our river restoration work, or our education and outreach work, um, we are working with uh, everyone around the Sound to preserve the natural resources here in New England. 